Hi, this is David with Organic Themes, and I'm going to show you how to add a content slideshow to any WordPress page using the content slideshow block. The block is available within the Organic Blocks bundle from Organic Themes. And once you have installed and activated the Blocks bundle plugin, the block will be available to you within the WordPress admin. So I have my sample site here, and this is the About page that we're going to add a content slideshow to. Okay, I'm going to add the content slideshow block beneath this, this first paragraph block. So I'm going to start a new line and I'm going to click this button to add the block. In my case, it's showing the content slideshow block here under my frequently used blocks. However, you might need to search for it. So search for content slideshow and then add the block. Now we have to set up a few options for the block because it's pulling in posts that have been previously published in your WordPress admin. So we have to choose the post type. In this case, I'm going to choose just regular posts, and I'm going to choose a post taxonomy of categories, and I'm going to choose the blog category. Now I'll select Done. Okay, the block has rendered, and it's displaying posts within the blog category. Now we can cycle through these posts directly within the, the editor here, and we can change options for the block over here on the right. I'm going to run through a few of these options with you just to show you what this block is capable of. Let's start by showing you some of the width options here. So we can use wide width, which makes the slideshow a little bit wider than the surrounding content, or we can use the full width option, which extends the slideshow to the full width of your content. Now I'm going to leave this slideshow at full width and I'm just going to go through some of the style options over here. So you can see that the post title is displayed here, the post excerpt is displayed here, and the featured image for each post is displayed as the background. Now we can change the appearance of this by going through some of the slideshow style options and display options. Now I'm going to add a slideshow height so that it stays at a specific height. Now the slideshow will always be 620 pixels high and it won't change the height as you cycle through each slide. I'm also going to change the slideshow style to modern which gives us some rounded corners and some slightly styled buttons and background effects here. Now let's say we don't want to, we don't want to display this excerpt we can go down here to the display options and we can simply hide it. Let's say we don't want to display this background card here, this white background behind the text. We can hide that as well. Now the problem here is you can't easily see the text on top of the slide, but we can adjust this within our color options by changing the slide title color. Now it's perfectly visible. Another cool option is you can display multiple posts per slide. So in this case, I'm going to change it to two. Now you can see two different posts are being displayed per slide. It's kind of difficult to see these images though. They're a little bit too dark. So maybe you want to lighten them up a little bit. We can do this by going down here to the slide overlay opacity and we can just Turn it all the way down. Now the images are fully visible and the text on top of it is still visible. Okay, let's make some more modifications to this slideshow. Let's say we want to display products from WooCommerce instead of posts. You can do that by clicking on our edit button up here and pulling up the slideshow options again. So instead of post for the post type, we're going to choose products this time. And instead of selecting one category, I'm going to select all categories and click done. Now as you can see, our slideshow is updated showing products now instead of posts. Now we can also modify these options a little bit more as well. So I'm going to display three posts per slide instead of two. 
Now I'm going to change the position of our content that's on top of the slides. I'm going to move it down to the bottom instead of in the center. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to read in some of these some of these products. So I'm going to increase our overlay by a little bit. Okay, makes it much easier to read. And that's it. You can see there's an array of options to choose from and you can you can play with these to your liking. You can even change the color of the overlay if you'd like to style the slideshow differently. Now I'm just going to publish these changes and we're going to view it on the front of our website now. So you can see currently there's nothing there. I'm going to refresh the page. And now our content slideshow is displaying just as it is in the editor within our website. And if you were to click any of these links, it will take you directly to the product. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to use the content slideshow block, it's available within the Organic Blocks Bundle plugin on Organic Themes, and the plugin includes several other blocks that can be used to enhance your WordPress site.